We're here at Mesa Verde National Park and this place is expansive, so much to see that I can't imagine doing so without being on one of their scheduled tours. So let's do just that, let's go. My tour guide is Marty, who is an NAI certified guide. This is a people park. It's all about how people lived here, when they lived here. While on the way to the infamous cave dwellings throughout the park, Marty tells us about the people who may have once lived here and the mysteries of their sudden disappearance. The growing corn is called the Neolithic Revolution. That happened all over the world, different places, different times. And it was common to come here and build your homes, uh, plant your corn, raise your kids, drowse out, run out of firewood, pick up and leave and go somewhere else. The first stop is Cliff Palace, the largest cliff dwelling in North America. So David, this is beautiful. Tell us where we are and what we're seeing right here. Well, this is Mesa Verde and this is kind of the icon of Mesa Verde called Cliff Palace. So who lived here? We can refer to them as the Pueblo people. There's 21 nations that are descended from places like Mesa Verde. What can we garner from how they lived and, and what they did daily? A very beautiful culture of experts, masons, to do some of this. People are experts in, in farming. I think daily, you know, they have people doing activities. There's also celebrations, dancing, music, um, and a lot of color. While exploring the sacred meeting place of the dwellings known as Akiva, I discover there are many ways to explore this fascinating park. What kind of tours do you have here that you offer? Airmark, the first tour that they offer is a 700 year tour where we follow how people lived here and look at the sites and where they lived. And then we take them to either Cliff Palace or Balcony House, depending on the time of year. We also give what we call the Explorer Tour, which starts at the Moorfield Campground and is designed more for people who cannot climb the ladders and so forth at Balcony or Cliff Palace. But they still get to see all those sites from a distance and get a feel for it. And the third way to get it on a tour is a private tour, which is generally one family group. After an amazing tour exploring the cave dwellings, I meet up with Jeffrey to discover what else Mesa Verde has to offer. So Jeffrey, let's talk about everything that you guys have here inside the park. You really do cater to the tens of thousands of people that come through here. Yeah, of course, we're, we have a lot to offer. We're the only lodging in the park. We can get them up here. They're close to all of the dwellings. They can come up here and really explore the rich history that the property has to offer. And then they also can immerse themselves in a great fine dining experience in the Tate room. They can come over to our Farview Terrace patio, spend time with their family and friends. What kind of things do you have for the people that say, I'm bringing my tent, I'm bringing my camper, I don't want to stay in the lodge, I want to stay out here with Mother Nature? Well, we have a few different things. The first thing I, you know, I'd like to mention is the Moorfield Explorer program. It's a free kids program at Moorfield Campground. Um, they learn about the flora, fauna within the park. The parents can set up the campground while they go out and kind of explore. Um, another thing, you know, I think is important, um, we have a really cool barbecue at Spruce Tree. From a food experience, it's something different that we're offering from all of our other locations in the park. So lots of great things happening, a little bit of something for everyone. So here at Mesa Verde National Park, don't forget that even after the tours and the great food, the camping, the impeccable lodging, at the end of the day, you have this. For more great Discover Colorado travel destination ideas, visit AAA.com stories and check out the latest edition of AAA Colorado's Encompass magazine.